Hey everyone, this is Agam Singh Sisodia and you are watching Disease Media. Today we are going to know about the treatment of sinusitis also known as sinus infection which we can treat it at home and from the beginning of the first day you can see the definite recovery and within two to three days the sinus infection goes totally. But before it I want to ask a question to you that as you had seen a stagnant water body such like a pond or a lake somewhere yes I am asking to you. Why I am asking that contains a very strong connection with this disease, the sinus infection. I hope you had definitely seen a stagnant water body somewhere. So what you had seen in that water body, the water body is just uh, so much polluted, the fouling spells are coming from it, a very bad order is coming from that water, the water is totally contaminated. So now the question is that why this water body is producing so much of dirty smell and get polluted and the reason is the growth of microorganisms, the growth of bacteria, virus, fungi and lots of type of microorganisms in it that are degrading the water body and the water comes with a foul smell as such occurs during a sinus infection but how let's check out firstly you just have to know that what are sinuses sinuses are the voids or the free spaces in our skull bone they are four in number the two one are on the foreheads and the two one are near to nose that functions for the secretion of mucus that comes from our nose during a situation of common cold you can better imagine it so now let's know how this sinus infection occurs as you know that sinus works for the production of mucus inside them so that they can pass the mucus to the nose and the nose become lubricated in a general state but during an infection such as common cold flu or just an allergy the sinuses the walls of the sinuses get swelled up and the way of sinuses through which it is passing the mucus to the nose get blocked and the mucus which is secreted by the sinuses just collapsed in that small area so due to the collapsion of the mucus in that area the mucus start pressuring the walls of our cheeks the walls of our forehead that's why the symptoms such as headache fever and uh, the blockage of the congested nose occurs during a sinus infection there are exceptional cases of uh, tumor development in our nose or just the nostril a lining that divides the nostrils in two parts will go in a side these are the exceptional cases and also at that time the viruses and bacteria start to infect the sinuses the filled up mucus means that the bacteria and viruses start growing in that sinus spaces in which the mucus is already filled up and just uh, they are starting to degrading that mucus that's like a stagnant water situation as i told in the beginning that's when the water body gets stagnant then lots of microorganisms start to develop in it and start to degrading that area so as such occurs with our sinuses okay now let's know about the treatment of this sinus infection as you know that sinus infection occurs due to the accumulation of lots of mucus inside the sinuses and that occurs due to the blockage so for treating it we just have to clear that blocked area so that this mucus can come out from the nose and the problem will be sorted out so for that you can do very simple and easy steps in your home and you can get better relief from sinus in just few days the first and the most effective treatment is the steam breathing that you have to boil a large quantity of water up to 2 to 5 liter and then when the water start to evaporate then you have to take out that uh, vessel in front of you and add up somewhat Vicks vaporizer in it and then you just have to cover your head with a towel and start breathing that steam from your nose slowly slowly in a very short period of interval you just have to do it four to five times in a day so that it will help to liquidize the mucus which is accumulated inside your sinuses and also will unblock the opening of your sinuses so that the mucus will come out and when this mucus come out the problem is solved and during that time when there is the pain on your face the headache is also there you just have to take a towel place it in the hot water just squeeze it and then place it on your face for up to two to five minutes you get relaxed from that pain and also if it is possible then rinse your nostrils with the salt water it will help from relieving the irritation or the inflammation which is coming there you can also use some inhalers during that time so that they can help you to relieve the blockage 
So now that's the time to discuss this question that is it possible to treat this disease permanently? Firstly, you just have to understand that this disease is a counter disease means that when some disease comes first, then this disease comes as a counter disease. For example, when cough and cold is there, when flu is there, when some allergy is there, then due to these primary diseases, the inflammation of the sinuses occurs and due to the inflammation, the blockage is here. So if we are able to restrict the primary disease, then the secondary disease will not come. So if we control the primary infection that it is totally in our hand that we can control the secondary infection. So now it is on your hands that if you prevent the primary infection, then you are definitely going to permanently treat this sinus infection. And one more important thing that I want to discuss that there are four types of sinus infection that is acute, subacute, chronic and recurrent. In the case of acute sinusitis or sinus infection, the disease of sinus infection occurs for a short period of time. That is the common case that occurs with the lots of people for which I had discussed today that can be treated at home with the home remedies which I had discussed. And finally, I want to say that if your sinus recover within a week, then it is a acute sinus. You can recover it at home with the home remedies which I had shared in this video. While if it is not then please consult a doctor because that can lead to a severe complication and the pain will go to a height. So to consulting a doctor is the better choice if the disease lasts for a long time. So that's all about the treatment of sinusitis. I hope this video helps you in understanding the concept. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. Please share this video with your family and friends because by sharing this video, you are creating awareness about sinusitis. And if you haven't subscribed this channel, then please subscribe this channel. Press the bell icon and select all to get more notifications about these type of videos. So that's all for today. I will see you later in the next video.